Today is Tuesday, May 10th, 2022. I got a call this morning from the neurologist's office that someone canceled. So they, they asked me if I could come in today. It was abrupt, but I didn't want to wait two months. So I said, yeah, I'll go and I when I saw the neurologist just now he was another it was another old doctor but it was as expected it it wasn't it wasn't I, I don't it, it wasn't helpful like it basically I explained to him everything but in the end he he seemed like basically he, he he I think he thinks it's just anxiety like he, he told me to he told me to empty my mind for two minutes every day and see if that improves my symptom like I told him I literally feel the rocking but I think he, he thinks it's just anxiety causing this. If I just give her the anxiety, it's gonna go away. Like uh, uh, he he only did just the same test that all the other doctors do, where you follow the finger and then you know just the basic test, the basic test, and he's like, well. You know, you pass all the all the neurologist te neurological tests. Everything's normal, so you have nothing physically wrong. So it's it's all in your mind, basically. He's he basically it's just it's it's not yeah. It wasn't not helpful. I mean, it's yeah disappointing, but. I mean, I, I I asked him if he knew if he's if he ever if he's ever heard of MDDS. He didn't know about it. And he also just like all the other doctors, they they just tell me, oh, you know, you shouldn't look into stuff on the internet. Like that's like such a taboo thing to do. Like you, like it's it's always the same same answers. And yeah, it's just, it's always the same. It, it. <sighs> so, yeah, I mean, he, he, I mean, he listened. It, it was pretty long. I think I was talking for. I was there for over an hour, so it was pretty... He did listen, but... I don't know, I don't, I don't think he could help. I asked about the effects or the prescription, but he told me I, need, I have to ask my psychiatrist about that. But... I mean, he, he, he said he'll follow up on me in two weeks, but all he could, the only advice he could give me was to just clear my mind for two minutes every day. But, I mean, I, I, I've been trying to relax for, you know, I do all kinds of things, acupuncture, meditation, uh, try to not think about the rocking even though my head is being pushed all the time. Like, I, 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 I tried, but for, it's been seven months now and I'm still rocking, it's just, the heavy gravity push. Yeah, I explained to him about the gravity 
gravity gravity push, but you you didn't quite understand what that meant. I I try to explain. You know, it's like literally on a boat. You're literally on a boat or a roller coaster. Like the force, the gravity force drop. Like like I literally feel someone's pushing my head. Like I feel that. Like it's like if people, if doctors could see that my head is like literally like someone is pushing my head. Like I feel that discomfort every second, twenty four seven. If they could, if they could see that, then. But this, 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 this. This cursed condition is invisible, so it's like I wish there was a test or anything. Like it's it's so hard to find a doctor who who can understand this. But or even even if even if there's a specialist doctor who knows about this, like there's really no real cure. I mean, it's depressing. It's really depressing. Like I'd, I'd be so, I, I, we'd be so happy if we could get off this boat. It's just this nightmare. It, yeah, it's. I feel like, I feel like I should just say, no, I don't have any anxiety. I have zero anxiety, because just bringing up the word anxiety. Of course, I have anxiety because I'm literally uncomfortable all the time, getting shoved, my head getting shoved. So, but I I should like I shouldn't even be honest to the doctors that I it, about anxiety because. You just say anxiety, and then none of the doctors would take you seriously after that. Like that's it, it, yeah. It's it's frustrating. It's I mean, I don't. I. It's just so uncomfortable all the time. I don't. I don't know. Like I don't. I don't. I don't know. How many. How many more months or years I could. I could. I could tolerate this. I. I. I, I mean. I. I, I Like if I if I had zero support system, like I, it's done for me. Like I, I can't handle this pain. So if if I had not, nothing, it's, it's, it, it would be it's it's over. So, as of now, I, so in two weeks, I see the same neurologist again, and uh, the th uh, I have a therapist and psychiatrist appointment coming up, that's about it. It's been seven months rocking all the time, so it's... In a way, it's like I've been trained to be in on this rough sea, ocean, for seven months. So I deal with it, but there, but there's a lot of times where I just can't take it. Like it, I know people say it'll get easier, but it hasn't really. It's 
it's, 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 it's so uncomfortable. But there's nothing, there's nothing I can do, so. It's like, I really, I really have to distract myself. It's like, you could be in the ocean, rough ocean on a boat, but if you, if you encounter like, a hundred dolphins, if you see a hundred dolphins or something, then for a split second, you, you, you kind of get distracted from that uncomfortable boat ride. So if, if there's some, some really extreme distraction, if I'm able to really distract myself, then, but that, that takes a lot, like, like watching a movie or something isn't enough like that's not comfortable because I mean it really has to be like I, I think I don't know just like driving driving is it's not the same but it, driving is you feel normal for a little bit but it's not yeah I just it's frustrating it's, I'm so sick of this boat like this yeah I mean I don't I don't know the neurologist was telling me like you know there's people who have seizures and they 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 try to live a normal life. Like I, I don't know. Like, okay, but I, 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 I mean, I know seizures are tough too, but it's not on and off. It's I'm, I'm, I'm always getting pushed. My head is nonstop rocking. It, it, it's, it's disorientating to do a lot of things. But, yeah. I, I don't know. He was. Yeah, the doctor just. Just thinks it's, it's mainly anxiety. I mean, I, I, I don't know what the next appointment, what he's going to say or do, but. It's not looking good. Like, I know... I know, like... Stress... Would trigger a panic attack. Like, it... it I know emotion can... Like, panic attack... It, it, it's a psychological thing that makes it you you end up feeling actual physical symptoms like you can't breathe or like tightening of the muscle and all that like i i i'm aware of that but this this rocking is it's not an on and off thing it's not it's, it's not like, okay, like, I'm so happy and peaceful. Like, I could be peaceful and happy for an entire week. I don't, my brain is just stuck in this motion. Like, it, it's just, it won't, it can't dump that memory. I, I, Just, just telling me to clear my mind. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I, it's frustrating. Oh yeah, 
the, the neurologist doctor told me, yeah, that he 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 told me that I look anxious in the office, so he feels that that is the reason. Like even in the office, I I look anxious, but I I mean I've been trying to tell him. Of course, I'm I feel uncomfortable. I feel anxious because. I'm 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 rocking. If I had no rocking, I would not be anxious or feel. Is like depression, all that. Like if I'm not rocking, I'll be so happy. It's just that's not the main problem. Like, but yeah, this it is 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 it's frustrating. He's like, you, you know, don't look up stuff. Trust the trust, trust the doctors. Trust us. But I mean, I'm not getting answers. That's why I'm doing my own research. It's not. I mean, I'm I'm I, I'm not like dumb to not be able to search things myself. Like I. And and differentiate the differences. Like, I know so many symptoms can relate to so many different diseases, but when it's like rocking, and and it matches, you get some temporary relief when you're driving, when you're in motion. Like, like I know what I feel. I I check those off. I'm not making these symptoms up, so I mean I I can make a more valid conclusion that it, it's it, it's close to MDDS, but I I, don't know, I wish there was some kind of test or yeah I I wish. I wish there's a genius doctor out in the world who, who who could find a cure for this debilitating hell condition.